Welcome to Dr. Rajkumar Academy for Civil Services. Let us discuss today the Hindu newspaper of Delhi edition. The first important article of the day, Data Production Bill and Monsoon Session. The second one is about India sets to grow by 5.9% this fiscal, says by IMF. Change in status. We are seeing militarization of space, steady progress towards weaponization. IMD predicts normal monsoon as El Nino effect looms large this year. These are the five important topics that we are going to discuss in the comprehensive way. Let us have a look of the articles. The first one is about data production bill in monsoon session. Digital personal data bill 2022 to enforce individual privacy online, which is ready. The statement given by this, you know, union government to the Supreme Court. Hearing of the petition in Supreme Court constitutional bench challenging the WhatsApp showcase in terms of data with the Facebook group of companies. Let us have a brief look regarding the same. The Supreme Court described about the privacy. You need to understand what is the exact issue behind the WhatsApp. The WhatsApp privacy issue leads. There is a lot of discussion regarding the particular. So the importance of this particular topic regarding the privacy. So we need to observe the Supreme Court of India recognized privacy as a fundamental rights in the year of 2017 under the Puttaswamy versus Union of India case. So as per that particular verdict, the Supreme Court says that right to privacy is a fundamental and inalienable right and attaches to the person covering all information about the person and the choices that he or she makes. So we need to understand what is this issue regarding the WhatsApp. The information that WhatsApp automatically collects will be sharing with the Facebook. Includes the mobile phone numbers, user activity and other basic information of the WhatsApp account. WhatsApp privacy policy to share commercial user data with the Facebook that establishes that if it is the owner of the data rather than an intermediary. So the policy essentially take away the choices users had until now to not share their data with other Facebook owned and third party apps. The WhatsApp policy contradicts the recommendation of the Sri Krishna committee report which forms the basis of data protection bill 2019. So we need to understand what was the background related to the personal data protection bill. The personal data protection bill 2019 was introduced in the Lok Sabha by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. On December 11, 2019, it was introduced into the Lok Sabha. Commonly, this particular bill referred as the privacy bill. It is intended to protect the individual rights by regulating the collection movement and processing of data that is personal data which can identify the individual. So the government withdraw the bill due to various concerns raised by the technology giants and other issues raised by the common people. So we need to understand this right to privacy also gave some kind of restriction. The first restriction is that the state action must have the legislative mandate. The second, it must be pursuing a legitimate state purpose. Third, it must be proportionate. So the government took many steps to protect the privacy. BN Sri Krishna Committee. The Sri Krishna Committee appointed by the government of experts on the data protection under the chairmanship of Justice B. N. Krishna, they submitted the report in the year of 2018. Information Technology Act 2000. The IT Act provides for safeguard against certain breaches in relation to data from computer systems. Even it contains provisions to prevent the unauthorized use of computers, computer system and data stored therein. So we need to know about the exact definition of data as per this particular bill. So the data means representation of information, facts, concepts, opinions or instructions and manner suitable for communication. So these are all the information you need to grab regarding the data protection bill. 
this particular topic comes under your general studies 2 policy and its interventions let us have a look of the next important topic of the day india set to grow by 5.9 percentage this fiscal which said by imf international monetary fund so imf projected india's economy will grow by 5.9 percentage for the fiscal year current fiscal year and also expecting around 6.3 percentage economic growth for the next fiscal year we need to understand what is the fiscal year and what exactly this article is talking about so fiscal year means from the 1st of april of the current year to 31st march of next year which is known as fiscal year why we are fixing this fiscal year because all the government budget and also financial rules and policies which is framed according to the fiscal year only so add on to this we need to understand what is this imf international monetary fund the background of this imf it is an organization of around 190 member countries each of which has representation on the IMF's executive board in proportion to its financial importance. So that the most powerful countries in the global economy have the most voting power. So IMF is also known as fund was conceived at UN conference in Britain Woods, New Hampshire, US in July 1944. So the background, historical background. Around 44 countries that conference sought the build a framework for economic cooperation. So finally this came into existence to overcome the financial crisis around the globe. We must understand what are the objectives of this IMF. Faster global monetary cooperation. And also secure financial stabilities of the member countries. Facilitating the international trade activity promoting the high employment and sustainable economic growth and reducing the poverty across the globe development of macroeconomic and promotion of exchange rate stability and an international payment system as well these are all the objectives which faced by the imf so we need to know all these kind of information regarding the same topic. This particular topic comes under your general studies 3 related to the sustainable growth as well as economic international organization. Let us have a look of the next article of the day. Directly we will go to the editorial page where there was a topic regarding the national party. Yesterday I mentioned you about a small information regarding how this AAP got national party status. Let us have a look of this particular topic. Recently, Election Commission of India recognized the Amadmi Party as the national party. So, Amadmi Party to be recognized as the national party by ECI. Three other parties have lost their national party tag. That is CPI, Communist Party of India, Trinamul Congress and the National Congress Party. So earlier it was 8 plus 1 Amadmi party, now 9 minus 3, 6 national party here in India. We need to know what are all the national parties are enlisted by the election commission of India. First one is about BSP, Bahujan Samaj party, BJP, Bharati Janata party, then NC, NPP, National People's Party. CPIM, Communist Party of India, Marxist and Congress. Then, Aam Admi Party. So, according to the Election Commission of India, some of the criteria conditions one particular party used to have. Based on that only, they are recognized as the national parties. The first condition is that a party candidates in a minimum of four states must get at least 6% of total votes polled by each of those states in the last national election. In addition to this, 
it should have won four seats in the Lok Sabha election. Second condition is a party should win a minimum of two percentage of total seats in Lok Sabha. So the party's candidate should have been elected from not less than three states. Third one is about a party is recognized as a state party and also in at least four states. These are all the major criteria one party can be recognized as the National Party of India by Election Commission of India. Let us have a look of the another topic. This particular topic comes under your GS2 Election Commission of India. That is your constitutional body. Next party it is regarding the monsoon. About the monsoon prediction. That is, IMD predicts normal monsoon as El Nino effect looms large this year. So what exactly the context is? India's four year run of summer monsoon rainfall is likely to end this year with the IMD forecasting 4% shortfall in the coming season. What exactly we need to understand regarding this particular topic? Remember, the seasonal changes is always a phenomenal in India. So in this article, we need to understand what are all the normal climatic condition. What exactly we need to understand about the normal climatic condition. Normal climatic condition is nothing but it is a weather depends a lot on oceanic temperature. And where the ocean is warm and more clouds and can be formed and more rainfall in that particular part of the world. This is one of the important point comes under your normal climatic condition. Particularly in the Pacific Ocean, near the equator, the sun makes the water especially warm on the surface. Normally, a surface low pressure system forms in the northern part of Australia and Indonesia. And a high pressure system develops off coast of Peru. So as a result, a trade wind blow strongly from the east to west over the Pacific Ocean that transporting the warm surface waters towards the westward. Because of this particular convective storms leads the Indonesia and coastal Australia being a more thunderstorm. So now in this particular concept they are talking about El Nino. What is this El Nino effect? See, El Nino and La Nina are two opposing climate trends that deviate from the normal condition and normally run 9 to 12 months. But often it can be extended as well. These events occur 2 to 7 years on average. El Nino is uh, more frequent than La Nina. So we need to know what is this El Nino and La Nina. El Nino which is known as an irregular event of warming of Pacific waters occurs at intervals of 2 to 7 years. But La Nina, a cold episode that usually follow the warm equatorial ridge which cools between the coast of South America and Oceania. This is about the El Nino concept. Now coming to your article regarding the monsoon during the previous year and recent year trends. India has had 4 consecutive years of good monsoons. And overall rainfall from 2019 to 2022 received an average area weighted rainfall about 1268 mm annually. The surplus precipitation that is more than the normal level has helped deliver high agricultural growth an average of 4.3 percentage per year during 2019 to 20, 2022 to 23. So the bountiful rainfall during 29 to 2022 has been significantly attributed to La Nina. So now since the La Nina is characterized by a negative ONI exceeding or equal to minus 0 0.5 degrees it means that so called El Nino Southern Oscillation Cycle has entered a neutral phase. 
because of this reason only there was a prediction by IMD the effect of this El Nino normal level that is neutral pace. So these are all the information you must acquire from this particular topic. This topic comes under your general studies 1 geography. Next topic regarding the militarization of the space. Militarization of space. We are seeing militarization of space which is steady progress towards weaponization. This statement said by CDS, Chief of Defense Staff from India. So you can have a look of multiple Hollywood movies that they used to have a weapon in their space which is known as Star Wars. Star Wars which is known as fighting in the space between two powerful countries. So militarization of space here, major of warfare, the transformation is happening witness in terms of militarization of space and steady progress towards the weaponization. So space is being used to enhance the combat capability in land, sea and cyber domains. The new kinetic weapons recently tested by Russia and China. So in this particular article, we need to understand about how this ISRO and DRDO to create the challenging factors in terms of weaponization in the space. Add on to that, we need to know about the roles and responsibilities and the importance of the position name called CDS, Chief Defense Staff. Let us have a look of that particular article as well. <clears throat> So this military space, militarization and weaponization of the space. Remember, various global space agencies such space com, uh, defense space agency from India, space com is from US, and uh, joint space command from France, Iranian space command, Russian space forces, United King. United Kingdom Space Command, all these countries are entering into the weaponization of the space. So many issues are there and you know even we do have a problem regarding the weaponization and militarization of space. So we need to read that into the complete analytical basis but I want to give you the add-on information of this particular topic name called CDS. This position CDS creation of this particular recommended in the year of 2001 by group of ministers that was tasked with studying the Cargill Review Committee 1999 report. After the group of ministers recommendation, they started doing preparation for the post of CDS. The government created for that purpose name called Integrated Defense Staff in the year of 2002, which was eventually serve as the secretariat of the CDS position. So in 2012, Naresh Chandra committee recommended appointment of the permanent chairman of chiefs of staff committee. Finally, the post of CDS was created in the year of 2019. Based on the recommendation given by the Lieutenant Governor DB, Lieutenant General DB Shikatkar. Based on that general Bipin Rawat was the first CDS in the country and was appointed on December 31st, 2019. It is a long process from 2001. Finally, it came into existence in the year of 2019. The roles and responsibilities, he used to head the, the newly created Department of Ministry of, like, you know, of Military Affairs. Department of Military Affairs comes under the Ministry of Defense headed by him. And CDS will be the single point military advisor to all the matter of defense to the defense ministries. And as a head of DMA, CDS is vested with the authority in prioritizing the inter-service procurement. And CDS is also vested with the authority to provide directives to three chiefs, Army, Navy and Air Force. CDS is the first among equals. He enjoys the rank of secretary within the DOD Department of Defense. He will also perform advisory role in the nuclear command authority as well. So these are all the roles and responsibility as per the article which gives for CDS. So these are all the important topics of the day which I find. Let us have a look of the other topics can be read for the day. We will start from the home page. I will give you the gist 
what topics can be read for the day. Let us have a look from the home page. The, the first article we, we discussed data production bill and about India sets to grow by 5.9 percentage. Now read the other article UGC plans one website to link recruitments. To make appointments easier way and more transparent way UGC has decided to create a common website platform. So read this article this article comes under review GS2. Next article directly we can go to the editorial page. There's an article which is known as uh, Indian TV hashtag audience fragmentation. How the audience engagement is happening and what are the appealing to the viewers and how this hashtag plays a key role in terms of the audience view. So based on this particular article you will get to know about the importance of the news channels how they are making the hashtag and how the audience fragmentation is like trend. Next article where you can give the focus is about the Dalit's writing is a social movement with the power to change the lives. This article comes under your general studies paper 1 Indian society. So read this article you will get to know about what exactly the problem is happening under that particular issue. Then Zelensky will be happy to speak at G20 summit in September says ministry. General studies to international relations. Next topic. We need to read the article regarding soon single platform for appointments in 45 central varsities. Read this article. It is again related to the UGC, which we saw about the one single platform regarding the appointments and recruitments. And in the world news, not much important topic for the day. And finally, coming to the business area, the finance ministry urges G20 to unite on debt distress of middle income countries. So this article comes under your general studies three, Indian economy. So. What are the topics that we discussed in the way of presentation? That topics you need to give more importance. Apart from that, the mentioned topics here you need to give a reading. To follow what topics to be read from the Hindu on daily basis, just have a look of our uh, telegram channel, Dr. Rajkumar Academy for Civil Services. There you will be getting on regular basis what topics to be read and where you can give more attention towards your current affairs preparation. And follow this video for the further update as well. See you tomorrow. Stay tuned. Take care. Bye-bye.